After sampling the current generation Hyundai Santa Fe on Korean soil and here in the US, we're happy to report the midsize SUV is as great to drive as it is to look at. The turbocharged gasoline only model is punchy but settles down nicely for more relaxed driving. We also tested the hybrid model, which is noticeably down on horsepower compared to the gasoline only model. Suspension tuning is comfortable, and body control remains tidy during cornering. The most unpleasant thing we noted was the rush of wind at higher speeds. Even though it's no rock crawler, the Santa Fe XRT proved capable on the trail, climbing steep hills without hesitation. The Santa Fe's interior is nicely designed, too. Cues pulled from Hyundai's Ioniq electric cars modernize the space, with touches including large dual displays and a steering column mounted shifter. Second row legroom is excellent, although the third row leaves something to be desired for most adults. Thankfully, those who find themselves in the third row receive much of the same amenities as the second row. How much horsepower does a 2025 Santa Fe have? The 2025 Hyundai Santa Fe carries over with the same pair of powertrains that launched with the midsize SUV for 2024. Most buyers will spring for the 2.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, which develops 277 HP and 311 lbft of torque. Front-wheel drive is standard, and all-wheel drive is available. Gasoline-only models feature a dual-clutch 8-speed automatic transmission. Hyundai also brings back the Santa Fe Hybrid for 2025. This model comes equipped with a 1.6-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine, an electric motor, and a 6-speed automatic transmission. All-wheel drive is standard for the Santa Fe Hybrid, and output totals 232 HP and 271 lbft of torque. Thank you.